It's part one of our blown Z06 sweepstakes transformation with a power stop brake kit, suspension, and power upgrades. Welcome to an all new episode of Engine Power. And this is a great week to join us because we're gonna be giving away an American supercar that originally came off the line with 505 horsepower. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know all about the incredible 2015 Corvette Stingray. Now the new Z06 is hands down the most powerful and quickest vehicle ever produced by GM. It's an awesome package. Ultra light aluminum chassis, wind cheating carbon fiber body panels, reactive magnetic selective suspension, and a choice of seven speed manual or a paddle shifted eight speed automatic transmission. And that thing flat out flies thanks to a supercharged 6.2 liter LT4 that puts out 650 horsepower and it's stopped by carbon fiber six piston Brembo brakes. Granted, it's well worth the $80,000 plus asking price, but that big number got us thinking. One, could we transform an older Z06 to hang with the new one? And two, can we do it for less than half the cost? We think the answer is yes and yes. We're starting with this stock 2008 Z06. You can find typical 40,000 mile cars like this as low as $30,000. But this one is not typical. Ours has a history. It's the test car Bondurant drivers and the brake engineers at PowerStop used to develop the latest Z06 carbon fiber slash ceramic brake technology. Our job is to give it a new lease on life and add to its already incredible track credibility. Now we'll do that by adding parts like this Edelbrock E4 supercharger, which will take that LS7 to over 650 horsepower. Then we're gonna add a set of these beautiful JBA long tube headers to let it breathe and purpose sway bars to let it handle just a little bit better. Plus you'll see several other parts as the build goes on. And when we get everything finished up next week, we are gonna take this to the new road course up at the National Corvette Museum in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Then it's being given away in the Power Stop Ultimate Z06 sweepstakes. When an engine makes 650 horse at the flywheel, it requires a good clutch to handle it. With that being said, doing a clutch swap on one of these vehicles requires removal of most of the drivetrain. So that's where this build is gonna start, by disconnecting the battery. Inside the car, the center console has to be removed to access the shifter. And under this door is some stuff you probably haven't seen before. All of these cables and junction boxes are part of the track data acquisition used out at Bondurant to develop the brake system. We'll remove the shifter knob retaining bolt and the knob by pulling it upward. By removing two more fasteners, the center fascia is pulled off and the harness is unplugged from several switches. The dust and noise cover are removed, plus four bolts to free up the shifter. It doesn't go right on the lift. Clear it? Yeah, hold on. A little finesse is necessary because it's set so low. At the rear of the car, the wheels and tires come off, followed by the calipers, which are hung using zip ties. The rotors go away as well. Two upper bolts get removed from each shock bracket, and the same goes for the upper control arms. The sway bar also gets detached from the cradle. Loosening the muffler pipe clamps and the hanger brackets will let the mufflers hang. Nice. Now we can remove the mid pipe to have access to the center heat shield, which has a ton of fasteners to remove. Pat mentioned earlier that most of the drivetrain has to be removed to do a clutch swap in this car. That's because of the really unique drivetrain design in these Corvettes. Now at the back of the engine is a small bell housing with the flywheel and the clutch. Here's where it gets interesting. A torque tube with an inner shaft runs the length of the tunnel, just like a drive shaft would in your ride. At the back is the transmission and it's attached to the differential. So all this has to be dropped so that can slide back to access the clutch. We'll continue on after the break. We're making way for big power with a clutch to handle extreme abuse coming up. We're back and moving forward with the ultimate Z06 sweepstakes build for power stop brakes. The intentions are to revamp this 08 Corvette into a close competitor to the new 2015 Z06 that hits the roads this year. We're continuing on by removing the cat pipes from each side. Then we can separate the differential cooler lines. 
Now is the time to support the rear suspension and driveline. We're using a transjack to handle the awkwardness. The fasteners retaining the torque tube and bell housing can be removed. And at the rear, the cradle bolts can be removed. First on the driver's side, and the passenger side is mirrored to it. All right, she's loose. Take your time lowering the assembly. A little more. All right, Pat, it's separating pretty good. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. One little nudge, and we are clear. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got this. Make sure the harness is disconnected and removed from all sensors and retaining tabs. Lower it slowly in steps and keep an eye on everything. This is the first one of these we've done, and we would never even attempt it on a set of jack stands. Make sure a two-post lift is available. Cool. Believe it or not, the actual clutch swap is the easiest part of this whole process. Now with the amount of track use this car saw and the clutch chatter we felt while driving it is a good indication that one is on its last leg. The starter is the first thing we'll loosen up and pull out of the way. Now the short bell housing can be removed to expose the pressure plate and flywheel. This type of pressure plate uses a multiple finger diaphragm, not a three finger Borg and Beck style, and it's being discarded along with the disc. The flywheel looks pretty good. A little bit of hot spots up in this area, so the chatter must have been on the pressure plate side. Regardless, we're replacing it too. Our new clutch kit is made in America by American Powertrain. Now this is their billet steel flywheel. It's neutral balanced and fits six bolt LS crankshafts. They also offer them for eight bolt setups. Now this thing is built to SFI standards and is compatible with 11 and 12 inch pressure plates and disc, which gives you the customer a better selection of clutch kits. With American Powertrain being one of the few companies to publish their true torque ratings on all of their clutches and a warranty to back it up, the man in charge sent us their stage one pressure plate that is rated to handle at least 670 pound-feet of torque. The clutch disc is the really popular Street Slayer. Now it features a 10-puck design which are made of ceramic friction materials that are bonded to a riveted carrier with captive springs for ultimate rebound control. It's perfect for the street, the track, or mixed use. First to go back on is the billet flywheel. Now American Powertrain sends new hardware, so make sure to use it. The torque sequence is done in three passes. First, 15 pound-feet then another in the same pattern at 37 pound-feet. The final is 74. Using the alignment tool, the disc can be positioned on the flywheel, followed by the pressure plate. I like to tighten it in an even pattern in small increments. This method allows the pressure plate to have an even load and no binding applied during the installation. Before the bell housing goes back on, up top, I'm going to remove the exhaust manifolds from the engine. From the looks of it, we may be able to get the long tube headers on without a lot of trouble. I found a small issue with the car. The driver's side motor mount is fully collapsed. Now these things are hydraulic, meaning they're fluid filled. This one separated from the shell, allowing the fluid to escape. Using an adjustable tripod stand, I'll support the driver's side of the engine. Now I'll unbolt the aluminum engine mount bracket from the block. Then the single nut securing the mount stud to the cradle. With a little lift and a twist, it comes right out as an assembly. And not a minute too soon. A direct replacement from GM fills its void. When it comes to quality, appearance, and performance, JBA nailed it with these long tube stainless steel headers for 06 through 13 Z06 Corvettes. Now these fall under their 304 series, which is a stainless steel line. They went an extra step and hand polished each set. The driver's side goes in from the bottom. A supplied gasket will seal them to the head and the JBA hardware will keep them there. The passenger side goes in from the top. These collectors are V-banded for a positive seal. With the bell housing getting snugged down, we're headed to a break. Next, we finish the drivetrain and add adjustable shocks. We're back with our PowerStop Ultimate Z06 sweepstakes build, and the next order of business is not necessary for you guys to do. Our transmission has some internal damage to first gear, and it probably happened with all of that track time during brake development. So since we're giving this away to one of you, we want it to be 100%. So this new Tremec TR6060 six-speed manual will go in its place. 
This one came from American Powertrain. To start, the cooler lines need to be removed from the torque tube in two locations. Now the shift rod can be detached from the torque tube, followed by the fasteners holding the torque tube housing to the transmission. The tube separates and slides right off the shaft splines. Slick! Oh, it's fairly strong. light as well. <laughs> oh. Now we're ready to remove the bolts retaining the trans to the differential case. That allows it to be separated from the rear end assembly and set on the ground. You got training? I got the whole thing. Hmm, that looks pretty cool in there. See the ring gear, yep. the center of the diff? Here's a quick shot of the inside of the differential housing in case you've never seen one on a Corvette. A new O-ring is placed on the new transmission. Get in there. There it goes. There it goes by hand, beautiful. It makes the seal to the differential. We're also going to upgrade the shocks on all four corners of the car. The original ones have been on there since 2008. So we're going to be replacing them with these aluminum QA1 Stalker Star shocks. They are single adjustable and they mount to the stock location. And QA1 even goes the extra mile by dyno testing and serializing each shock for uncompromised quality and performance. The swap on the rear is first and we're taking care of it with the assembly still on the tranny jack. One large bolt at the bottom frees it up. The new shocks go on easy and reuse the original bolt. And we'll also reuse the stock bracket along with new bushings for the top. The fronts come off with three fasteners. One at the top that is accessed through the engine bay. The others attach it to the control arm at the bottom. Once removed, the new shocks can go right in their place and the original hardware locks them in. For starters, we'll adjust them to two clicks. The shift rod is going back on now and is secured with a roll pin. And the almighty torque tube is repositioned, aligned, and mated to the trans. On the other end of the shift rod, the same type of connection is held in place with a roll pin. Now the cooler lines can go back on and are secured with retaining clips. American Powertrain also sent us this OE style six speed sleigh bearing. Now these things are machine bled at the factory for the Corvettes and that's a process that's pretty hard for us average guys to do. So they came up with an easy solution. They sent these trick little Dash 3AN fittings to replace all the factory lines with Dash 3 lines to make everything a lot simpler. This is the supplied extended bleeder line so you can bleed the clutch system with everything installed in the car. To install the fittings, remove the factory bleeder with an 11 millimeter wrench. Simply screw the AN fitting in and tighten it. The fitting for the slave is removed by tapping out the roll pin and gently pulling. The new fitting is O-ringed and is retained the same way with the pin. Now the bleeder line is attached and tightened and this half inch concentric spacer will keep the bearing in the correct engagement range. This dash three line is connected to the slave fitting and will be routed up to the clutch slave after the drive line is installed, which we'll take care of during the break, which is a two hour job for us. It goes in the same way it was removed. We'll be back. All these upgrades won't mean a thing without the technology to slow it down. The brakes are next. So far, our giveaway PowerStop Z06 VET has received an upgraded clutch kit from American Powertrain, better flowing JBA long tube headers, a high performance Tremec transmission, there go. and single adjustable QA1 shocks. The updated drive line is finally back in place, which leads to the exhaust. And to wrap it up, this JBA stainless steel midpipe that's fitted with high flow catalytic converters. It's needed due to the length of the long tube headers. And the supplied clamps will seal it all up. Now it's time for the brakes. This is Spec Me Out of Racers. Chris Miller is with us today from Power Stop Brakes. He's the brand manager for the company that's making a big stopping point on the streets all over the world. It's all around the platform. He helped develop the new one click track kit for their Ultimate Z06 Corvette sweepstakes. It's a rotor and pad combination catered to the autocrossers and open trackers looking for improved braking, and it's all under one part number. Today we brought our track day one-click brake kit specific to the C6 Z06 platform. Um, it features our drilled and slotted rotors, 
They're zinc plated to protect against corrosion, uh, drilled and slotted for cooling and free of brake dust. The rotors are also internally directional, meaning that the cooling vanes on the left and the right both work to draw air through the rotors to keep them cooler. Plus our rotors are all mill balanced from the factory for perfect balance, um, ready to install straight out of the box. The pad we've developed for this platform is a semi-metallic compound ideal for tracked applications. It has a high coefficient of friction and is resistant to fade at both high speeds and high temperatures. The research for this kit began with finding the right platform and the C6Z06 was a natural fit. It's exceptionally capable from the factory and we thought it was a great place to begin improving from. Our partnership with the Bondurant School of High Performance Driving afforded us the opportunity to test um, this new product under some of the harshest conditions available both on the track and on the street. Remember the data acquisition that was in the center console? Here's what its job was. We monitored brake pressures at each corner, rotor temperatures, our speed, the lateral g-forces of the car, and all the factory sensors. All of that data allowed us to develop a brake kit that was resistant to fade at high temperatures, resulting in shorter stops and a much more consistent feel under the harshest braking conditions. And to complement the new brake kit, we've also included these optional power stop stainless steel braided brake lines designed to improve braking feel under OE specifications. Chris, tell us why this sweepstakes is so important to power stop brakes. Everybody wants the performance of a new Z06, but few can afford the $90,000 price tag. Using power stop brakes and a collection of aftermarket performance parts, we were able to create a one of a kind vehicle that not only outperforms the new Z06, but does it at a fraction of the cost. This sweepstakes is our opportunity to give back to our customers and the Power Nation TV viewers for all their support. But it's not going anywhere till the brakes are on. The rear four piston calipers accept the track day pads and get reinstalled with the factory hardware. The optional lines are DOT approved and the red material protects the braided stainless from the elements. The fronts go on just as easy. We elected to powder coat the factory wheels matte black. This area was not coated but left rough so the beat of the tire would not spin during hard acceleration. Who would think about taking that extra step? Mr. Speed Coatings, a father and son owned business in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. Now they set the standard in custom coatings from mild to wild. No limitation on colors, designs, or items. If it can be powder coated, they will perfect it. From custom single items to quantity production runs, they can handle it all. The wheels are wrapped in Continental Extreme Contact DWs, which stands for dry wet. They're an ultra high performance summer tire for you drivers seeking extreme grip in wet or dry conditions. The tuned performance indicators allow you to know when the tire is no longer optimized for ultimate performance. We're halfway there to having this Power Stop Ultimate Z06 ready for one of you lucky viewers who registered to win it. The parts we've installed so far set the stage for the second phase, which includes a power adder that will put this Z06 ahead of the new one's horsepower department. These cars are very involved to work on and require some patience, but the reward is extra gratifying knowing what this car will be capable of.